So here we're in area A, um, unit F, Southwest Quad. And just getting into level 25 uh, in LU3, and I found a piece of what could potentially be some long bone, possibly deer uh, or elk. So we found this in uh, LU3. LU3 is um, 11,410 radiocarbon years. So in processing this, we have to get an RN. We have to take sediment samples, and it has to be placed into uh, tin foil to make sure that it doesn't get damaged. So we are excavating here in LU2, which is a finer, sandier sediment. And we're working on the level two of our feature, which as you can kind of see here, we have a lot of gravel that's starting to pop up. And what this is, is probably a pit that was dug down to river cobble. And then that gravel was brought up and then put back in to the pit once they covered it. And we found a similar pit back in 97 over here in uh, unit A. And we're hoping, just based on the size and what we're seeing, this could actually be the same thing. So this afternoon, uh, we're digging here in area B, um, unit 24 in the northeast quad. And we're within feature 99. Uh, we have just recovered a potential wolverine molar. However, we have not confirmed that yet. Uh, what's interesting about this piece is earlier last year, um, we, the same feature had produced a, uh, what we believe to be a wolverine mandible, so potentially they could, be, they could be related, so that's what we're hoping for, but this is really exciting. So While working in Area B today, we uncovered a western stem point. Pretty cool. Um, it's convex on one side. This side is convex, the other side is flat. We found what we believe is a template um, for, for these, um, where uh, people were making these before. It wasn't quite as um, developed as this one, so it was an earlier, state, earlier process of this. This is complete. You can see the stem, and it has ears here. This would be the stem side where you would mount it to a shaft um, for a, a projectile. And on this side, of course, would be the, the tip. Mm -hmm. 